Hey everyone, I will tell you why I chose the Samsung SmartThings hub over all the other ZigBee hub options out there and I will also do a quick unboxing of the product and tell you my first experiences with it. So let's jump in. So this is the Samsung SmartThing ZigBee hub. It's the version 2 hub. There's also a version 3 hub which has a few differences on it. I haven't really considered the version 1 hub that's not really available anymore but if you can find the version 2 hub it might be cheaper and it might be an okay option. I'll leave some links in the description to the version 2 and version 3 hubs. So in this version 2 hub you have the actual hub, you have an Ethernet cable, a power supply uh, and for a AA batteries. It works on uh, Android and iPhone and it supports uh, ZigBee and the Z-Wave protocols. So I think that's the pretty much the essentials to know. Uh, the version 3 hub doesn't have the battery compartment but it does have uh, Wi-Fi. So if Wi-Fi is important for you then uh, go for the version 3. Uh, I really wouldn't put any value on the battery compartment since um, I haven't actually even put the batteries in. I don't really see uh, too much value in that currently since most of the functionality uh, still requires an internet connection and my internet goes down when, when the power goes out anyway so kind of you would need a, a, a UPS a, a power supply for, for your internet uh, and you could power this uh, hub from that as well so I don't really see the point for the batteries and maybe Samsung didn't either because they removed that feature in the next version. As you can tell this is not a real unboxing rather uh, what's included in the box video since I have been already using it. There's the quick start guide then you have the actual hub and inside the box there was this uh, power adapter. I have the UK version since I'm not living in the UK, I had to use one of these EU adapters to use it. But uh, if you buy it on Amazon DE for, for Europe, you will get the European plug. Or if you buy it on Amazon.com, you will get the US plug. Uh, this box also has the batteries, but four batteries, AA batteries in it, but well, I haven't used them. It also has the Ethernet cable. Uh, uh, kind of short one so uh, that's handy if you if you need it. So next why I actually chose this hub. So there are many ZigBee hubs out there. Um, some of them support Z-Wave and ZigBee like, like this one but to me based on the research which I did comparing it to the for example the IKEA hub or the um, Xiaomi uh, ZigBee hub or the uh, Xiaomi Agara hub. Those options seemed a bit limited to only support the officially supported device list which might be limited. For example on the I IKEA one I haven't really seen people using other than IKEA products on it. Maybe on the Xiaomi Agara one people are using other ones as well. But it seemed that the Samsung SmartThings uh, ecosystem was kind of the best and, and the most active community and you have the possibility to extend the officially supported uh, devices with uh, additional uh, custom device handlers which you can uh, just install from from github and i have already a few videos on that i'll leave a link in the in the corner for those with those i have been able to connect for example the philips hue uh, outdoor motion sensor and also been able to connect uh, the uh, xiaomi agara uh, door sensor and, and stuff like that and with connection connections to amazon alexa and google home there's a multitude of connections which you can create and with actually with the alexa connection you can control devices which are connected to alexa and use alexa as an intermediary so that's also a great way to to extend it i know that there are other hub options which might be kind of um, 
better in, in device support like if you would go for a home assistant hub um, sure uh, the options would be even more extendable but kind of uh, concerned that that would be uh, spending a lot of time on customizations and and kind of investigating on how to connect devices and the Samsung smart things uh, custom device handlers they have been very easy to uh, take into usage and there are a lot of uh, easy to follow videos on the, on that topic and uh, I think uh, home assistant sure for for an IT guy like me uh, I could do that but still I would expect to spend a lot of time with those other options still there is the Habitat uh, hub option which to me at least it seemed at the time that the Samsung smart things extensions they are easier to use uh, I know that the Samsung smart things hub um, is quite reliant on the internet connection so that's one downside definitely but uh, at the moment I'm still very happy with my choice if you think I missed some valid points of in the hub comparison and in the kind of why to buy a certain hub please uh, leave comments down below so we can have a discussion on it i'm really interested in hearing your opinion if you're interested in the automations i have already created with uh, the smart samsung smart things ecosystem i'll leave some cards to my other videos on automations which i have already done so you can follow along if you found this video helpful please give a like it really helps out the channel and also consider subscribing to hear more about my smart home uh, journey so hope to see you in the next one